Welcome back, guys. The ball is spotted right at the 46. The Broncos pistol set here. First down at the 46. Will go ground. That's a gain of six. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Boy, there's nothing like a draw play. It just catches a defense by surprise. And running backs, they love it because they know they have a chance to get some easy yards. Second and four coming up. Anderson's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. The Broncos will take the snap from the 40. Takes it again. Face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. We'll take it. Boy, his head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when yep. you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. Khalil Mack takes Another face mask. Come on. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. And gains about one. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating, and I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. To this, The NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Second down and nine. Gets the handle here. Picks up about two. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. The Broncos come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Third and seven. Monte Ball is the receiver. Third. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. First and one. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Fourth nice throw one. right on target by the QB. Chip shot here. And it's a fake. Ah. Back that time. In on the tackle. Well, I like the ingenuity that time. They, they don't go for the field goal. Instead, they have a run play called. It looks good, but it doesn't work. The defense fast to react and they yeah. got the job done. My fault, guys. But they couldn't do nothing anyway, so. <laughs> the Broncos taking the field again on the offense. Clock. They paid the price for Keep an for aggressive decision again. on their last possession. Passing up on the field goal attempt and going for it on fourth down, then coming up short. Yeah, look, no second guessing for me on that. I'll just say this. I'll give the catch. defense a lot of credit. They were there. They were ready for the situation. They made the play, and that's why the offense came away with no catch. How do you think the offense is feeling right now after that coach's decision? Well, shoot, they're disappointed. The coach believed in them. You know, they know the coach is showing faith. Well, he showed faith, and they, they let him down. Down. Coming up. Quarters in the books, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right. All right. Welcome back to this defensive showdown. That's not really a defensive showdown. Stepping up to the line of scrimmage, the 22-yard line. 
The final quarter underway now with this snap. Gains 12. Yes. He's now got 70 plus yards on the ground. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football. I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. The defense got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First and goal from the 10. Anderson's going to take the handoff now. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. That's one of the best one-handed catches we've seen all year, isn't it? Jim, that's one of the best. You don't see many this outstanding in these wide receivers. If they can't get two hands on the football, they've taught themselves over time just to go up and stretch as far as they can and get that one hand on it. And it is amazing how many times they make the catch. It converts on the three. <sighs> That field goal should make their job a whole lot easier for the rest of this fourth quarter, Phil. Yeah, it's kind of like you and I do in the games. Everything I do, I just, I make everything <laughs> easier for you, Jim. Uh, oh, couldn't do nothing. The Broncos bring their offense onto the field. No the last time they had control of the football, they did not come away empty-handed, but did and not Oakland get a touchdown score, either. So. They got that field goal. And I think that's important. That field goal gave them a little confidence. They got some points up there. That always makes you feel good on the offensive side. Now take advantage of that good feeling. Go out there and score a touchdown this time. Let's see if they can finish off a drive. Second down. The Raiders' defense now is going to go nickel. Out of the shotgun formation. The catch is made by Emmanuel Sanders. Gains 17. The reason I threw it to Sanders is because uh, offense, they know it's more number 14 was being double covered the as he was coming to the right. That time picking up the first down. That's what you want to do. You got a small lead in the second half. Keep getting those first downs and eat that clock up. in the backfield single back set muscles through the defender back that time well, the first the time the Broncos have stayed with the run game today and it's been a big part of their game plan Anderson's been leading the charge on this front Phil and they've done it many ways they've done it with power runs going outside going inside draw plays everything is working for this running game today and it's been impressive to watch handoff made Balls tackled right at the 42. Run, clock, run down to two minutes. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. <coughs> Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. I'm telling my coach, I'm going to do this and that and this Just and this. Just two and minutes this. left of this one. We're <laughs> back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Set up now at the 42. <clears throat> Here we go. 
second and three. Anderson's ah. going to secure the handle. He's tackled. Of the 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 timeout. It's a first down. No surprise. They immediately call the timeout. After that timeout by the defense, play is ready to resume. Set up now at the 37. First down at the 37. Another carry here. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. He's now past the 100-yard mark on the day. One more time. One more time. The line of scrimmage, the 32-yard line. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Second down and five. Anderson's taking the handoff. First. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. That's a timeout call. First and ten. Balls handed the football. Lofton's all over that offense and brings him down. That's good. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The Broncos had to put last week's heart-wrenching loss behind them, and they've done that so far, although they've got another game that might be coming down to the wire. Yes, they do, Jim, right now. But what did you learn from last week's defeat? Can that be the difference to get you through and win this game today? About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. The Broncos come out in the pistol. The Broncos from the 22. Gives it to him again. Now cutting to the right side. Looking for some open space. The game is closed. It's in the fourth quarter. You're winning. You're on the offensive side. You find out if you can really run the football in these situations. That time, short gain on the run. So now we've got a field goal coming up. Drives it through for the field nice goal. game. Whether they score a touchdown Phil, or not. That's a field goal that all but clinches it. Yeah, it did, Jim. And listen, it's been an exciting day and a good day for the offense. And how appropriate that field goal drive. It just gave them the victory. Yep, it did. Because whether it doesn't matter. They can score the touchdown. Which they didn't score anyway, so. We did it. So we split. <sighs> we still have San Diego one more time, and we still got the and we still have the Chiefs coming up. Our last game is against the Chiefs, I believe. Whew. I guess we're still being a nuisance to teams. That touchdown, the only touchdown for us. For Phil Sims and all Look the crew, this. Jim Nance saying so long. 134, 120. Look at that. Beautiful. I only threw one interception today. One touchdown, one interception. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye.